A puppy. Doggy. A golden doggy. I see people writing this one. Let's start Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Look, look we're on the moon. Look, we're on the moon. Oh, we don't need this timer. Hey, In cerulean halls, find me. Cool shot. Screenshot. Gorgeous. Oh, I almost fell, guys. Can you I fall? <laughs> I did not know that there was no railing here. <laughs> or that I could just go through. I'm floating. Look. Oh my gosh. I'm magical. I'm gonna guess this is a Taki Taki. What? Yeah. Roomba. Look how tall he is. He is so tall. Apologies. I have been preoccupied for some time now. And I'm out of practice at conversation. Ever since this moon was created by Heidelin, I have served as an integral part. I am the Watcher. I am responsible for the prisoner and the devices that hold him fast. He's got some big horns. Zodiac himself, a projection of the moon's core. Though rent asunder by Heidelin, he grows more powerful with every rejoining. Seven there have been. Seven too many. And yet, for all his servants' machinations, he remains incomplete. The fallen are beyond salvation. No attempt would be made to uh, no attempt would be made to free Zodiac, not until he is whole once more. But someone has taken action. The shackles that hold him nearly shattered. Six locks to his gaul, great and grand. Gargantuan swords driven deep, brands to bind Zodiac forevermore. Five were destroyed by his would-be liberator. One of these I have restored. I strive to mend the remaining four, but my efforts are being impeded. Souls sacrificed to summon Zodiac, their manifestation consequence of the waning seal. They labor in opposition to my work, and they must be expelled for the preservation of all. If keeping Zodiac imprisoned is the right thing to do, I will aid you. We shall aid you. Bring it down, please. What is right and good? Ask a thousand souls and receive a thousand answers. I offer none. He has it. It's like where Lala falls. I am the watcher and the gowler. I am not the judge. Know this, Hydaelyn commands the force of stasis. And this moon is the product of such power. So long as Zodiac remains imprisoned in, his, in this place, no more sacrifices will be made in his name, nor will those souls rendered up in his name fade into oblivion. Go, meet with these wandering spirits. Do what you think is right. Oh, oh. 
A puppy. Doggy. A golden doggy. I see people riding this one. They don't seem to know why the world started going crazy. Our perfection came crumbling down, such overwhelming despair. In that moment, we knew the end was nigh. The faintest glimmer of hope remained. We gave our lives that others may live. We gave ourselves to Zodiac. Zodiac, our Lord and Savior. Forge our world anew. We're surrounded. We're surrounded. To live and love again. Become one with the star. Fill earth and heaven with life. Birth paradise where fear is distant memory. Pardon me, but would you be so kind as to step aside? Our friend must be a friend. Ah, that unmistakable color, the soul of Asm. But not the friend I knew, I think. Nevertheless, you are you. Hmm, so M itself meant for you to have it. What did he give us? You seem surprised. Why might that be? <laughs> Reception. <laughs> we meet again. Hi, Claudius. Again, I did not believe I have yet had the pleasure. We met in a, in a recreation of Emmett's. Hithlodius. Hithlodius. Emmett Suck created a shade in my likeness, and not only me, but all of Amarok? <laughs> How very like him. <laughs> A slave to sentiment, even after an eternity. As you may have guessed, I am different from the shades you met before. No mere approximation, but the original. Soul sacrificed to Zoyar. We remember in vivid detail the events leading to our purgatory. The plans and plots for our resurrection, Heidelin's intervention, and Zodiac's and the star's final fate. Talks really slow. He does. And then we drifted in a waking dream, our minds steeped in fog until you came. I know not what you and your friends intend for Zodiac or the future of the star. Nevertheless, in you, 
I place my trust and faith. In you, I choose to believe, as M itself did. What did he give us? Believe in yourself, and all will be well. Uh oh. Oh, sounds like an Asian. More new arrivals. Though, ah, Fandanio, the color I know. And another, I do not. An unfamiliar but fearsome being. I have kept you from your duty by way of apology. I will ensure that the shades hinder you no more. Protect the final brand. Cry havoc and let slip the dog of war. Dog then... nudges you with its nose. You get the feeling it wants you to hop on. <gasps> We're flying. Stop that. Stop it. This is the best. We're flying a dog on the moon. I forgot the movie. Is it Clifford? No. No. It's an old movie. It's like an, an 80s movie. Let's try again. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Don't do that. When did he get here? That's what the... Hithlodius was talking about. Oh, there's Ben Daniel. Yeah. I'm just In saying. In the nick of time to savor the crowning triumph. I'm just saying we were here first. Unbound and free at last. I mean, Arise, they, Zodia! Technically, they were on the moon first, just not here. Oh. Because Heidelin, like, Turned the, the the beamy pointy to a different location. Is it a one winged angel? Did it have one wing? Did I just see that it had a single wing? Deprived of heart and will. By the loss of dearest Elidibus, a creature of pure instinct, wanting for guidance. But powerful, oh so powerful, more so with every passing moment. Such potential, even in this Incomplete state. Still the savior who delivered a world from certain doom. So, here we stand. You know my intent. Consume the god, then the world. Stoke your fury to a raging inferno and dance among the ashes. Or perhaps you would face me here and now. A lesser but welcome amusement. Yes. A taste to whet the appetite.
sorry to spoil the moment, but might I ask that you postpone the slaughter until I have said my piece? I promise I will be brief. What you want? Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to die and take everyone with me? I meant it. Uh oh. Way to go, asked Daniel. Hmm. He combined with Zodiac and became his heart so he can control it. Protect the last sword. We are the savior. We are the guardian, the keeper of natural order. These are the masks of Hades. We are the martyr, the bestower of new beginnings. We are. Lofty aspirations, and what sweet irony that the world's saviors will become the agents of its destruction. This dude. It cannot end this way. We must return and be made whole. We are the will of the star. Now and forever. For the greater good for the sake of the world. Wrong, 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 wrong! Lies and delusion! The dead have no power over me. You will be silent. Silent as the grave! <laughs> No more, we beg of you. The star must endure. Believe and walk in faith. Let the light of your soul shine for all to see. Please Not think. quite the outcome you'd imagined, but a fitting one nonetheless. Don't you think so, Hades? Fight. 
Zoria. It's dark inside. Wow, cool. Epic. Establishing connection. All creation shall bend to my will. They should really leave our sprout in. Yep. The end has come, and it will be beautiful. Uh, don't be in front of this triangle. Oh my god. <laughs> Were you in front of it? I walked right in front of it. I'm just gonna try and not die. Oh no. We're in the wrong spot. Everybody else is over there. Mine! Oh, mine! Oh. <laughs> Grew wings. Oh. He has a face. He was a one wing. At he last, two -wing. I am become Zoya. Looking like Medusa. They're not Medusa. Um, Ursula. The natural order overturned. Oh, circles. Something's happening. Going around in the circle. Arrows pointing at something. All in existence. Bent to my will. Uh oh, guys. I'm in the wrong spot. I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> we are both in the wrong spot. My life's work! Gotcha. My masterpiece! That was very clear. We we were the two very noobs. Clear. I get it though. I understand the mechanic. Uh-oh. Don't be in front of those. Uh-oh. What happened? How I've waited for this day! I picked the wrong corner. I picked the wrong place. <laughs> the great cataclysm <laughs> faithfully recreated. From broken skies fall tears of flame. All shall burn. Everyone's over here, so. Will you live to see the end? Uh-oh, a healer died. Uh-oh. I died! Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Put me on there. All in existence! Bend to my will! Oh no, I'm on it still. Go. Oh. 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 There's just like spears coming out of nowhere. Oh, I died. I did die. No, I got pushed over. Whoa. I died as well. Walking toward the green ones. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, you got her. You got res. I think I'm up to four. Each cobbler died again. 
Zodiac is picking on that healer. Oh no! You are on the nope zone. This is so hard. Here, this way. Dude, this is so hard. I gotta do this. All in existence. Got him. Is this the limit of your power? Is this how it ends? we just beat him we beat the final boss guys i don't even know how we just did that i don't even know what just happened <laughs> that was just that was brutal there's an ass daniel nowhere called the slayer of primals well done. The preparations are complete, and I stand ready to seal Zodiac once more. Okay. Withdraw now from this place. The teleporter will deliver you to safety. Beat me up! So many lives, so many deaths. No different this. I close my eyes and slip into the dreamless slumber. A tired song and dance, routine. Always I wake But not this time <laughs> Nothing left unsaid Nothing left undone Inherit my hell I intone with glee The man I was would weep for what I have become. The all 
consuming contempt. But I've the wisdom of ten millennia to justify my answer to the question. No value in their existence. Not a wit. For all that I looked. None that I did see. A final chance, then, for Heidelin and her faithful. In cataclysm, prove me wrong. I sneer. All shall return to nothingness. As was your will, Emperor Sunday. I, the star, and every living being, Consigned to your oblivion. The arc was stopping the blind. Deep breaths, slow and steady. We look like Lilliputians next to this guy. You saw it too, yes. The blue star below, thrown in turmoil. was no illusion. All was truth. With the death, death of Zodiac, the laws of nature over which he presided have begun to unravel. The final days are upon us. What you witnessed was an omen granted by the Echo, a vision of the horrors to come. short Xenos with you this day. Slavering beasts gather at your gates, ravenous and eager. Already you turn to them and away from me. I must go forth once more in search of power far beyond the might of Shinryu. 
power to make your heart run over with rage. Caddy's got a great For voice. the eldest of primals was a betrayal of promise. A pathetic creature incapable of inspiring true despair. I... That's what I crave. Pure, unadulterated despair. Despair. Hope will win the day. Hope will win the day. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's so cool. Because he looked like Sephra. <laughs> we shall see. Wow. It closed. Is he gonna be our our friend just like um Nero? Thank you for affording me this short reprieve. It is we who should thank you. The records stored here are nothing short of extraordinary. There is much we could learn of Zodiac and his imprisonment. But perhaps you could offer us more focused guidance. Pray, tell us of the calamity that came before and comes now again. Story time. Long ago. Before the great sundering, there was but a single world. Etheris. One day, from within the earth, a terrible cry issued forth, affecting a profound change in all manner of life. We were not exempt. Our creation magics ran rampant, giving shape and form to thoughts of hopelessness and despair. At first, the phenomenon was limited to a single region, but quickly, so very quickly, it spread and engulfed the holes of the star. Were the ancients ever able to deduce its source? They were not. However, the convocation struck upon a method to predict where the next corruption would manifest. Etheric energies which flow through all of creation in the form of various currents. Oh. 
the currents which course through the land and seas. Those which flow through the very air. And those of a celestial nature which encompass both our star and this moon. Celestial currents. I cannot say I am familiar with the concept. Nor would I expect you to be. Few scholars of our time knew of their existence. Their invaluable knowledge helped us to better understand the nature of the calamity. Like the terrestrial ones of earth and air, the celestial currents form a vast network but the ethereal distribution is not consistent. The convocation soon realized that the inciting incidents occurred in regions where the flow was weakest. Correlation without clear cause, ultimately. Nevertheless, on closer study, a stagnancy of either was observed in nearby currents. And so they sought a means to harness the forces of darkness, of activity and growth. Thus was Zodiac conceived. No less a power than a god's could set right the laws of nature and quicken the flow of ether within the star. Precisely. With the advent of Zodiac, our end was averted. Emmett Selk claimed that those who summoned Hydaelyn did so because they saw Zodiac's power as a threat. Is that true? Indeed, there was a faction opposed to Zodiac's creation, but their aim was never to unmake him. They understood the continued preservation of the natural order was dependent on his very existence until we could identify and address the underlying cause of the final days he would need remain for his departure would set in motion those apocalyptic forces once more Hadelin recognized this as well and so rather than destroy she sundered zodiac herself and the star into lesser reflections that she might confine him in this place Just because she said darkness doesn't mean that it was Zodiac. Mm. I could have sworn she beseeched mm -hmm. me to banish the darkness. Yeah. Perhaps she did, but as with all beings, intent is not always in accord with spoken word. Hydaelyn and Zodiac are both construct, constructs of man, approximations of perfection limited by our own imperfections. Zodiac was, without question, the more powerful of the two, having been born from the sacrifice of half Ethereum's population. Thus was it necessary for Hydaelyn to commit herself wholly to his defeat. Still more effort was needed to confine him. Yes. 
Maintaining the brands taxed her greatly. With what power she dared despair, she cried out to any who might listen and offered her blessing to those who heeded her call. It's us. Though it was likely within her power to do so, I believe she did not wish to speak of Idris and her history. Like Zodiac, Highland's purpose is a reflection of her creators. They wish to look to the future and not linger in a prison of the past. The Asians set in motion seven rejoinings before we came to oppose them. How many more worlds would have been lost had we not placed our faith in her? How many more souls living in the present would have been snuffed out for the sake of those long dead? Well, in light of recent events, I see no reason to doubt your words. And even if Hydaelyn is not a god in truth, if Minfilia believed that we should trust in her plans, then I choose to do just that. Which brings me to a rather important question. Bring it. Let's suppose we try but fail to stop this second coming of the final days. Should the source fall, what will become of the other worlds? They go The nomenclature is more fitting than you know. Bring ruin to the source, and its reflections will share in its fate. A beautiful sight, is it not? Yes, but what is it? Hadalyn knew better than any that her powers were, was not absolute. Indeed, she has ever struggled to hold Zodiac and his faithful at bay. She feared the worst and so made preparations. In the event of his demise, there would be a contingency. This moon is more than a prison. It is a vessel capable of bearing the people of Etheris to safe harbor. Wow. It's a ship. You need not go far to find its pilot. In fact, I should be happy to take you to them and fulfill my final duty as watcher in the dark. So that's it for Final Fantasy.